Hey, Wilson, come on and buy with me, dog. Let's have a seat. Hey, man, I want to tell you about this Charge 5, man. Look, before I get into that, though, I got to reintroduce myself. Just in case all you new cats who just showed up don't know what it is, this is New Stuff TV 2, the untechnical tech channel. I'm your host, Antoine. Please don't kill my vibe, Richardson, because today we are talking about the JBL Charge 5 which is going to turn into the Charge 6 at some point because that's why you're here. That's why you clicked on the video, right? So I got the Charge 5 in hand. In February of 2024, we'll mark this thing's two-year birthday. It will be two years that the JBL Charge 5 has been out, and that means, due to JBL's track record, it's time for a Charge 6 to show up. So that brings the question, if it's December 2023, should I be looking at a Charge 5? Like, should I get this thing? Is it actually worth it? Well, the short answer for me would actually be a resounding yes, because, dude, have you heard it? Now, this ain't a real speaker test, but come on, man. Come on, man. Solid sound. That's solid. Look, this is not some special microphone, man. It's just the one hanging on my shirt right here, but I'm gonna tell you from firsthand personal experience, this has been a great speaker to have over the last two years. It's done pretty much everything with me at least once. It's been hanging out at the pool with us. Uh, I think we've taken it to the beach once or twice. Uh, I've used it while working on my roof at home, which I'll get into uh, in just a moment. What else have I done with this thing? Hell, we're at the park now getting our jam on and it sounds great. Like the park ain't loud or nothing, but I mean, it's got a good sound, especially outdoors. You don't need to put this thing on a shelf and have it bounce the sound off the walls or anything. It just sounds good sitting right there in an the open space. But uh, as far as like the Charge 5, I've done plenty of videos on this thing. You already know the specs. It's got 20 hours worth of battery life. Now, once again, don't be cranking it all the way up expecting to get a whole 20 hours out of this thing. You will crunch that 20 hours down to like four if you turn it all the way up and try to listen to it. It ain't gonna happen. Listen to, a re listen to it at a respectable volume, then you'll uh, push more battery life out of it. But it is, char it is called the Charge 5, so you're gonna get that extra USB-A charge or charging port on the, under that speaker booty right there. Uh, I, don't, I don't use that. I've never really charged anything else <laughs> on this thing. I use the battery life for the speaker itself. But as far as aesthetics go, I think this is one of JBL's most beautiful designs as far as the speaker goes, and I love what they've done with the aesthetics with the JBL tramp stamp right there. You got your buttons right there. What I would like for them to change in the uh, JBL Charge 6 is like the color of the buttons. I wish they would make them like maybe white or a subdued color that's not the same color as the speaker. That way you can actually see them better like they've done here with the power button and the Bluetooth button. Other than that, man, it's been a great speaker. And even though there should be a new one on the horizon, the JBR, uh, JBL Charge 6, I still think this speaker is absolutely worth it. It is literally what I, what I feel is JBL's best speaker in this, like the portable segment. Uh, the next one would be the JBL Boombox 3. This one right here, it just does everything. It has a nice amount of bass capability, I would say. Like you can get the bass you want out of this thing. And then you got your mid-tones, you got your treble, all in this little compact size. It actually kills the JBL, uh, the JBL Flip 6. And in my, in my opinion, it actually performs better than the JBL Extreme 3. So with the new one coming on the horizon, I don't know, man, what else could they possibly do in the JBL Charge 5 range? Like speaker tech, what, what, where is it headed next? I know they've done a lot with earbuds and headphones over the years. These Bluetooth speakers are, are still relatively new as far as, you know, the portable ones like this. So where, where is the industry going next with Bluetooth speakers? So what are you gonna miss out? Or what are we gonna gain from a JBL Charge 6? I don't know, just a couple of updates, I'm not sure. I would like them to kind of kind of tweak the overall aesthetic, not in the way of how it looks, but as far as functionality. Round is probably not it. I'm gonna just tell you right now, JBL, round ain't it. Because if you put this thing on any type of incline, it's probably gonna roll, okay? Because it just has a small flat surface on the bottom with the feet right here. And yeah, if you could just make that a little broader so it doesn't roll, like when I was telling you I was on my roof, yeah, it's just, it was just gonna roll off my roof and I didn't like that. So if you just make the bottom flatter, that'd be great. But what else could you do in the speaker world when it comes to upgrading an already amazing, fantastic speaker? I'm not sure. I'm not an expert in this kind of stuff, Wilson, but what I do know is I'm about to get in here and go. 
and the Charge 5's got shotguns, so I don't know how the hell you're going to get home, man. We still friends, though. <laughs> and for the rest of y'all, y'all keep being good to each other, and I'll see you when I see you.